Gang, the middle class famous tour is about to be in full effect. Woo! Come out and see us. It's a great way to introduce some new people to the show. So grab the homies, grab the ladies, the birds, the bozos, everybody, and come see us. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. We ain't done yet. Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just the first leg of the tour. Going to be coming, so get the techies. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antony's Basement. Have not seen her in a couple of days since the Eagles lost. Yeah. Which is usually how it goes. They win. You don't see her for a couple of weeks. They lose. You don't see her for three or four weeks. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing. Sure. Anyway. My co-host is coming at you from across the table at me. <laughs> this is a family episode. We're circling the wagons. We're getting into it. We're chopping up. We're doing the bills. That's what we're doing. Oh, man. Remember that? Oh, do I? Shoebox full of keepers. <laughs> nobody, say a, <laughs> nobody say a word. Dude, it was just a shoebox full of red red slips on the table. <laughs> Fucking past due bills. <laughs> Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Uh, hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, and as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Fucking cooking, baby. And then, obviously, we have to... By law, we have to mention it. Patreon.com slash are you garbage. You can mm-hmm. sign up. Get bonus content. Episodes of AYG. Episodes of Hard Feeling, which is the runaway of the... I feel that's going to have a big 2022. Smash hit. Smash hit. Beaton's doing Spider-Man numbers over there. For your consideration. Hard feelings. Yes, sir. Uh, and then live streams with the top tier members. Check it the fuck out. Also, live shows... We're going on a road all over the place. Middle class famous tour. Check it the fuck out. Yes, please do. And having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Yeah. T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Toby. I was going to say something. I'm off. I don't like that intro. The whole thing. The tootie stunk. I threw it to T-Bone. That stunk. Sounds like he got indigestion, God too. God damn it. Sounds like he got some fucking kielbasa working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bad case of the salami burps. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Tums commercial. <laughs> you're just you're one second away from breathing out fire. <sighs> Somebody get this guy some milk and magnesium. Something. Stat. Get him a glass of two percent. Tubby, you need a roll aids? What's going on? Yeah. Too many onions in my Greek salad this morning. <laughs> too many. That's what happened. Too many onions in my cereal. You believe that? <laughs> I said Frosted Flakes, you jerk off. (laughs) Too many onions in my Greek salad. They're coming back to haunt me a little bit. Yeah. Nice Greek salad today. Nice. That's 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 good. Back to the bills, though. Sure. That was a dicey Sunday. That was a Sunday afternoon. Patty would sit down. She'd break the book out. Break. She had like a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't do like that. A, like a, like a, a unit. What's it called? A visor and an old timey calculator. Cat machine. <laughs> no, no, no. One of those. One of those things that like opens like an accordion. Like one of those. Like files. a Rolodex. Oh yeah, an accordion file. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She'd break that thing. Oh out. really? <laughs> Ours were in a fucking Reebok <laughs> classic box. <laughs> <laughs> a blue a blue Reebok box. What? With a fresh set of Kensington Cruisers that just popped out of them. DC, look at that. And we never probably probably some cash in there too. Nah, pff, a couple yeah, of right. couple of twenties. We were my mom used to say we we're house poor. Uh, you could just afford to live in the house and not pay for anything. Um, Damn. And she wouldn't do it on the weekends. That was a week. You don't want to ruin a nice Sunday. You know what I mean? I <laughs> There's no like- good news coming. I, <laughs> when, once that box gets out of the closet. I feel like Patty did it on Sunday before dinner. I, I remember before she started cooking. No. And man, you fucking minded your P's and Q's yeah. over those two hours. You didn't say a fucking word. Uh-huh. God forbid your name's on one of them things. <laughs> Fucking braces, you fucking son of a bitch. You're doing- you crooked, too, small dick, motherfucker. <laughs> Ma, who you been talking to? <laughs> oh, man, if your mom ever called you a little dick, motherfucker, that's, you, you don't recover from that. Straight, no. to, straight, straight to the bridge, you know what I mean, T-Bone? Yeah. 
<laughs> Put some rocks in your pocket and jump. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. That's a tough one. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Anywho. Anywho. Um, good to see you, buddy. You too, man. Toby's, Mike's not on. Toby's mic's off, God, man. This kid stinks. Charlie. We're going through it. <laughs> T-Bone's <laughs> hanging on by a, by a long hair. <laughs> um, what? What do you got? Something happened at the house I want to discuss with you. I don't know how gross you're going to think uh, okay. it is. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not that gross. What house? Your apartment? My apartment, yeah. You call that the house? Yeah. What do you? What the fuck do you think I call it? I don't know. The you office? Call your apartment what am I, the a fucking house? jerk? Yeah, my house. It's my house. No, it's by definition not a, it's not a house. My home at your home. home. I, w- I would say we're going back to the house. Yeah, we're going back to the a- house. After the bar, we're going to have a couple beers back at the house. I would say my place. Back at my place. Or the crib. The crib. The crib. Well, you're not bringing anybody back there anyway, bozo, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, my, my landlord said no parties after 11. Now, back to my place. Sure. Um, we'll call it the place to be. The house. Is it the house? It's not the house. The house is your... I thought immediately I thought of your parents' house. Okay. If okay. you got an apartment, you're calling it a house. You're a bozo. Back at the apartment. Yeah. Or my, my place. place. Yeah, there you my go. My place. All right. All right, I'm taking my place. Okay. Where's your watch, by the way? I only wear it on special occasions. <laughs> I almost broke out the chain today. Say that for hard feelings. Well, I know you're not breaking out no chains. I have the huge Cuban link chain. You've seen the Yeah, picture. but that's a joke. <laughs> Is it? <sighs> this guy. <laughs> well, this guy's stealing... well, I'm a comedian, folks. <laughs> this guy's you better stealing not see me look. in the Netta Tavern next week. This guy, you got watches. You're getting fat. <laughs> not no more. Your hair's <laughs> growing in. I don't know what's going on. And you got this going too, the five o'clock shadow. Uh, so you're calling. You're, all right, so let me get this straight. You're, this is very hard feelings, but you're claiming fucking watches and facial hair now and, and obesity. Well, we obesity. I'll give someone's got to be rigs. <laughs> you're right. I'll, I'll, I'm going to lose 15 pounds, but I'm keeping the watch. Somebody's got to be rigs. Somebody's got to be Murtaugh. You can't both be Murtaugh. Can't both be up here with mustaches like ghost bit. Somebody's got to be. Somebody's got to be rigs. Okay. I don't know what show we're talking about, to be honest with you. We're talking about Lethal Weapon, and I am clearly Riggs. <laughs> you're what? You're I'm a not... loose cannon. No, you're not Riggs. I'm Riggs. <laughs> what? You're no. big. You're too old for this shit. Literally. Yeah, it's true. All right. I, I could be Murtaugh. Let me I got hear you, the family. Let me hear, I got the let me hear your Danny Glover. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. Where? I did Ghost Pit. <laughs> it's pretty good. There right? <laughs> not cop killers. Cop killers. Not a baby. Cop killers. <laughs> Fucking love Danny Glover. That'll, yeah, okay. You're going to go my way with me. You're just doing cotton. Nah. uh <laughs> Cotton's very Danny Glover. He is. They were, he, he was very Danny Glover. Woo, man. Him at the end of the original Lethal Weapon, when he's out there, not with his, in his underwear, he's got a little 38 special and a grenade. That's it. Trying to get his daughter back from fucking mercenaries. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Where are those guys? I'm no Murtaugh, I can tell you that. No. I'd have been blowing every one of those dudes. <laughs> like a Euro Even trash. with the cameras aren't on. <laughs> <laughs> movie or no movie, I'm blowing you. They all had sunglasses and Uzis and shit like that. Uzis were big in the Huge. 80s. Huge! Somebody has that bit. It might have been Bellaney or somebody. Everybody had an Uzi and no, everybody was a terrible <laughs> shot. <laughs> Dude, a, a hero would run into a run into a factory to, for a drug bust. There'd be fifteen guys in the rafters with Uzis, uh, and now one of them would hit. That's him. a good piece of business. Yeah, yeah. What was with that? What, what with the Uzis? Everybody loved Uzis back then, and those Mac Nines, those were big. You know what I'm talking about? The Mac Ten. Mac Ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mac Elevens. Whatever you got. <laughs> Sounds like something McDonald's has it every Fourth of July. Sure. <sighs> Strikeout number. All three. right. So you're back at your house. Yes, my place. Um, we're usually, uh, truth be told, what's it called? Uh, Sentadine. We're a Sentadine toothpaste sandwich. Really? Yeah, stuff works wonders. Wow. Yeah. Sensodyne. Really? That blows you away that much? For you? Why? I don't know. I figured you use lava soap or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that Gojack soap with the sand in it. A little cascade. <laughs> Um, I feel like Sensodyne comes with that blue liquid you put your toothbrush in. <laughs> yeah, it's very medicinal. I don't get it, to be honest. Sensodyne, I thought he had to, he had to have a periodontist fucking prescribe that. Yeah, well, my mom worked, used to work in the field back in the day. Um, work in the field? She used to work in, in dentistry. I thought she was a farmer. I was like, what? <laughs> 
Anyway, we got the scoop on that stuff. Anyway, point. Wait, she worked in dentistry. She she was an office manager. Okay. Of a dental office. You made it seem like she was like you know running out of the room when they were taking the X-rays. Procter and Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> she worked in dentistry. She though. invented the root canal. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Um, anywho, um, I was just it just made me think there was a time, probably about three or four months one winter where we used exclusively. Baking soda, not baking soda toothpaste, but there was no toothpaste. It was just baking soda We've for done a that. minute. She got on a real just hard that? kick. We would do both. Just that. We would do that to white. We did both for a Man, long, for a while. Talk about burning your taste buds off. <laughs> that stuff gets on the tongue. It's a wrap. You don't have to sit there like, and fucking, yeah. whoo. Good luck having a Gatorade for the next six months. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. It's not like you're detailing a car or <sighs> something, dude. That shit was tough. Stuff will kill you. I remember looking at the back of it, and they were like, yeah, you can clean your rims with it. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with this shit in my mouth then? This is a fucking setup. Set of 22s in your grill. <laughs> <laughs> Set of spinners. Uh... Yeah, that's cr- the. F- I mean, that's another '90s, real '90s bit. But like, you can you, that shit's everywhere. And there was one box that like lasted f- that was in my oh yeah in my bathroom for. It's probably still there. <laughs> Dip your toothbrush in there, rattle it around. They ha- they have to come up with a better box for that shit. It's so whack. That fucking cardboard. Yeah. Jesus Christ! What are we fucking little orphan Annie? Were you one of the families that had it in the fridge? <clears throat> You're goddamn right. It keeps the smell really? away. Fridge and freezer. No, we know. It worked like a charm. You got to run a tighter ship, then. And she, and she, and she, no, she ran a tight, tight say what you want about Patty. Her fridge, was, <laughs> her fridge was tight. There was never any of that bullshit. You ever well, then to, you don't need the baking ever, soda. That, we never that's, had that's it. That's how on point she was. That's how on point she was. She would add one of those yeah, right. trees in there. She forgot to buy toothpaste. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, she was just big into it. Telling you, but let me ask you this: Do you ever go to a buddy's house and you open their fridge and it stinks? Hey, puts. There's like old shit in there. Uh huh. Well, I mean, like I'm not. Yeah, I mean, before for takeout sure. was always the clear sign. If I saw takeout in a friend's refrigerator, I knew things weren't going well. If there's multiple takeout boxes from like yeah different places or whatever, Mm-mm. yeah, kid needs a home cooked meal. <laughs> yeah, if you got Chinese and Indian at the same week, <laughs> who's helping you with your homework? That's what, <laughs> that's what I want to know. Young man. Yeah, that's a tough look. So listen, oh as God. I said. Where are we? Oh, the Sensodyne. We're not even okay. Sensodyne. You were a Sensodyne. You're a Sensodyne. We're a Sensodyne household. family. Yes. Mostly because my teeth will start to hurt if I don't use it a little bit. Uh-huh. To a little bit of a degree. Sure. All right. I floss every day, but let's not. St- I mean, listen, it is what it is. Sure. Right. Um, I didn't notice it. Okay. But uh, over the last couple of weeks, there's been uh, Crest Scope in there. Or mm. not Crest. It's some company that has the scope in it. You know what I'm talking about? Who's ever rocking that right Colgate? now? Colgate? Maybe. It's pretty tight because I'm a big scope guy. Huge scope. Love scope when okay. I was a kid. Couldn't do Listerine. Yeah, it's Crest with scope. That's all. That'll That's get you, nice. That'll get you through in a pinch. I like the hard stuff. Never seen it before, though. And it's really? a, it's a huge tube. Mm-hmm. Never, no, I've never. Listen, I'm a weird guy, but there's nothing better in your hands than a fresh tube of oh. toothpaste, unsqueezed. Good night. Yes, there's sir. Something, it's something. It's like a big sauce. It's like popping a bottle of champagne. Yeah. I feel like a fucking rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, that lasts for about two days, by the way, and then it's fucking. It's terrible. It's all over the place. So this is kind of a two part question. I wanted to ask him. So I'd never seen this tube of toothpaste in my life before. All right, it's a big one too. It's a family, a family size fucking John. Okay, it's about three quarters of the way done too. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. Man, I'm using it and I'm using. Wait, it. so you just stumble upon a half there. empty? Yeah, but was it there the day? I'm just saying it wasn't. I didn't. Fucking- I didn't realize it after using it for like a week or so. That like, wait, where the fuck did this come from? Oh boy. So we had some. We had some family stay with us. Okay, over the holiday. Sure. Um, I guess they had left it there. Okay. Probably and can't fly with it. Can't fly with it unless they're checking back. Whatever. And we used it. Now, I'm a pretty big dirt bag, as we we all we all know that, right? It's on the record. You don't need to stand on airs in here. T Bone, can you read back the report? Is he a dirt bag? <laughs> it's wild in there. <laughs> but how do you feel about cause using you know I'm we, a weird guy. Hold on. We brush our teeth in the shower, we do this, we do that. 
How do you feel about using somebody else's toothpaste? Because I don't know about you. When I put that toothpaste on, they're they're kissing. Mm-hmm. I'm not air dropping it. They're, I was <laughs> scraping it. Wait, Steve Jobs? No way you're air dropping it. Mm-mm. You got to go. So you- I'm brushing my teeth, and I realize, I'm like, oh, fuck. I've been using it for fucking two weeks. I wouldn't do it. Unless you're like in a pinch one time, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, that would be that would be trashed immediately in my house for sure. Now let me ask you this: There's just too much. It's too intimate. The mouth brushing <laughs> your teeth. I'd kiss. You if gotta it was, have your own toothpaste. Say it was my cousin. I'd kiss my cousin before I used the toothpaste. Repet it like a whole tube. That's way too much. It's I'm, way too much. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm talking about my cousin Liam, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking kid. Yeah. Um. And do you put the cap on your toothpaste? Yes. You do? Typically, yes. Capped up. But that thing, you know. Because I've noticed over That's like a chromie. The neighborhood kids come and take them (laughs) sometimes. And they don't always last the whole duration. Yeah, but I've noticed the toothpaste is, the cap is never on. So I'm just grabbing it, raw dogging it. That's a little too much for me. I'm a germ guy. That's, uh, once, if you're in a pinch, I get it. But to habitually use it. uh Uh-uh. Yeah. No, I threw it. it out this morning. Not that I don't love my relatives that stayed. Don't get me wrong. Who would ever? No one would ever assume that in the world. Okay, that's your paranoia kicking in. I, I don't. I, I don't I, want I, this to I, get back to him and think I don't love him because I won't mouth kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> I almost joked. <clears throat> Did you guys? Do you guys remember that? It was out for a little while. That crest where it would come out two different types. Ooh. Yeah, we had that. I think we had the knockoff version of that. It was like a ro- it looked like a rocket ship. Yeah, like you were mixing sealant. Yeah. It looked like a rocket ship. They got real kooky in the in the early 2000s with the tooth the standing toothpaste. The stand- well, that you press down on. Get out of here my, with that. My buddy had that. I That was like you were in fu- I think that was Sensodyne. Next thing you know you're jerking off with it. That's hey. crazy. 9 out of 9 out of 10 doctors recommend. <laughs> My cousin had the worst version of that, where you take the tube of toothpaste and put it in the little holder that has a like a metal rod that goes through it, and then you wrap a, it wraps around the toothpaste, and then you turn that, and it goes up and it squeezes it. My out. friends now have that, and they're like, "Yeah, it's I don't." That's get cool. out of here. What you do it on the side of the counter, like a fu- the side of the sink, like a gentleman. What do you mean? You take and you fucking slide it down to get the rest out. Oh, I thought you meant normally. Normally, you pick it up and squirt it on your toothbrush. Yeah, but I'm saying when it gets low, you yeah, gotta take it and fucking. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Have you ever cut the? Have you ever cut the tube? We've discussed this. Yeah, we've. Got, I've cut. I've I cut. think I'm I've done it in a jam, like on vacation, in a hotel room or something, where I'm like, I I need a little bit. Yeah. You ever see the ones they give you at hotels? The little, little, tiny, tiny little baby one. I don't think I've ever. It's for like you get two. You get you get like one shot at it. Yeah. No, Tough I don't look. think I ever did that. Mm-mm. I'm not one of those guys that go down and be like, hey, I forgot my deodorant. Do you have a sewing kit or whatever? Oh, really? I'll buy it if they have it in the store and I need it. I asked them. What do you ask them? No. Really? Mm-mm. So what, you're not going to brush your teeth? What if they don't have it at the place? At the at the card store downstairs or whatever it's called. They typically do. That's they, what they don't. They're out. Well, they then do. what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm knocking on my neighbor's door. See if I can. Da- yeah, no, I don't know. At a hotel? You're knocking on your No, neighbor. I'm kidding, you fucking idiot. Well, what? Why is there going to be a store in a hotel and they don't have fucking toothpaste? Because of the supply chain. No, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> They're out. Fauci! You're spilling your tea everywhere, by the way. I'll spill a little tea. I'll tell you a little story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into some fucking questions here. Let's get into it, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, Patreon, you get a question uh, read right on the air, and it's a good time. We're having fun over there. Yeah. Uh, but 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 let's see here. What do you want to start off with? Let's do. All right. This is from Sivian, Sivian, or whatever. Uh, do you constantly finish your dinner dinner in under five minutes? It's I. As much shit as I give you for being gross and disgust, I eat like I'm in the military. It's like I'm doing a job while I'm eating. And it's like you're making room for it's going. I'm taking a sip to clear the pipe so I can get more in. We had dinner together not that long ago. We both did a pretty good job of standing on airs of, you know, we carried a conversation. We weren't animals. Yeah. To a degree. We're also drinking, too. So Sure. Yeah. But I know exactly what, what they mean. I look at people, like, even when I was waiting tables, I would, like, watch people, like, eat and, like, 
They're having like nice conversation. My wife does it. They're like sitting back. The guy's got his legs folded. He's drinking his wine. Mm-mm. And but it it doesn't seem like three hours, but it seems like like they're having just a, a nice time. I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 stuffing it in. Well, they should. They say like chew every bite like twenty times or something. That's fucking old lady crazy shit. Is it? Uh, dude, I, I I guarantee you there's not a guy out there who's 400 pounds who's counting t- to 20 every time he's chewing. I'm like two bites. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. I'm like a lioness. <laughs> um, Straight It's tough. But my dude, I, I get self-conscious with it because my wife is so methodic with it of like, cut this, a little bit of the mashed potatoes, throw a half a pea in there, a little f- niblet of corn. And I'm like, fuck All it. while carrying adult conversation. Yes, yeah. About, about, about a wide variety of topics. Meanwhile, I'm on Instagram shoving a chicken bone in my ass. It's fucking... <laughs> I, think, I get after it. I think that has to do... But, I don't know. But this is... Hold on. This is... And she goes like, she'll say like, fucking chill. And then I'm in my head going, what? And I'm like, this isn't me enjoying this. Let me enjoy it at the speed I enjoy it. Why do you care how fast I eat? You know what I mean? This is how I enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. You're eating dinner with a snow shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho over here. What? Well, seriously, I don't. I don't sit there and go. You eat so slow. That's crazy. If I was like, why are you eating so slow? That person would be self conscious. Sounds like a real nice date, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you eat too fast. You eat too slow. I'm done. She's asking for Parmesan cheese still. Like she, <laughs> she's waiting. You're putting a blender on the table. I'm gonna shotgun this steak. <laughs> you can't liquefy a steak. Um, Who put cookies in his mouth? <laughs> Gang, let's talk about Bumba's. Bumba's. Bumba's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothing ever. Mm-hmm. Match every item sold with an equal and donate it. So when you buy Bumba's, you're also giving to someone in need. Yes. Bumba's designed their socks, shirts, underwear to be the, uh, the clothes you can't wait to put on every single day. Everything is made soft, seamless, tagless, and it has a gl- luxurious, cozy feel. If you know anything about me and a big man, like a nice, luxurious, cozy feel. Yes, we do. Uh, a pair of Bomba socks uh, for everything you do. They come in tons of options. If you like comfy, perf- comfy performance styles, every sport or activity that keeps you moving. T-shirts are made with thoughtful designs, features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, the perfect weight so they hang just right. Um, so far, Bomba's customers like you have helped donate over 50 million items of essential clothing. Damn. What are we doing? Let's give back, baby. Look at that. Let everybody wet their beaks. Uh, go to bombas.com slash garbage and get 20% off any purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash garbage for 20% off. Bombas.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens? Yeah. You mean AG1, baby? I'm not just a, uh, what are we? What are, an Sponsors. advertiser. I'm a user. Kids and end user. I'm on it. I got you hooked on the stuff. About two weeks I've been using that it. That green powder, baby. Absolutely love it. I have it every morning on an empty stomach. Mm-hmm. I take I take it with my pills. I have my pills. I have that. If I'm on my way to the gym in the morning, yeah. I take it with me to the gym because uh-huh. I'm telling you, I feel a difference rather than just drinking water and drinking that throughout my workout. Of course. It keeps me, keeps me going. It keeps me juiced up. Yeah. It's good for gut health. For immunity, all essential vitamins. It's you like can't a, beat it. It's like a you know, carpet bomb for multivitamins. It's fantastic. Takes care of everything you need. Best thing about it, uh, whether you're, it's it's lifestyle friendly, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy free, dairy free, gluten free, the whole nine, they got you covered. This is this 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 threads every needle. Um, it costs less than three dollars a day, and if you're investing in your health, it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. I mean, I do a couple cold brews a day. I'm off, the, I'm off the cold, bro. And he's all he's an AG1 man through and through. I am telling you, I am. Um, they have over 7,000 five-star reviews recommended by professional athletes trusted by leading health experts such as Tim Ferriss and Michael Ger- Gervais. Take that. There you go. Um, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and <clears throat> arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. It's one scoop into a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, supplements, this, that, nope. this. They got it all in one shot. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily net nutritional insurance. Do it. Yeah. I have a theory. Okay. Um, I mean, we were raised by human beings, weren't we? Theoretically. 
Did you watch television when you were eating dinner as a kid? Uh, what was the weekly? What was the weekly? I mean, we've gone over this a decent amount for sure. Uh, Have we gone over your weekly where you ate? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. So I Monday, Tuesday, I was at my mom's. Wednesday, Thursday, I was at my dad's. Right. So uh, depending on the time of my chat, like sometimes my mom was working nights. Or sometimes she'd get done at like... So you weren't sitting down eating dinner usually? No. I mean, I think the... I'm trying to remember. The nights is when I was in like high school, like older. Because we did, but the TV was always on. We always no, watched... if we were... That's what I was if getting we, at. If we were sitting down... Like, you also got to think like single mom. So like Danny had soccer. Sarah had fucking field hockey. You know, I was like seven or whatever. So it was like... Um, I was smoking Bernie's out You back. had jock itch. <laughs> um, but like... So between all of that, yeah, I got you. You know, it's like as you're trying to juggle work, cooking, and getting the kids everywhere. I got homework. You. It wasn't like, that's but like ha- when we were all sitting down at the table. That's where hamburger helper comes into the clutch. Oh yeah, if we were all sitting, or Applebee's, if we were all sitting down at the table, it was off for sure. But like if I was eating while she was like doing you know like yeah a, yeah i got you the tv would be on i would be at the kitchen table but it'd be on in the family room TV. sometimes i would get yes. turned that off yes then i would you know yeah we sat on this side so i can see it you listen to it yeah yeah especially well, if like fresh prince or something was on that was a hot hot track yeah it was uh we, we the tv was always on while we ate i remember being a little kid and having like a little tiny kitchen tv that like those that, i never got that, like they wheeled that that we almost had like wheeled up to the table why we what? ate? You guys are animals. Or it was like in the corner of the kitchen, and the table was close enough. Very comforting, though. I guess there's, I, there's there's something psychological in that relationship of food, TV. Sure. That's why I think I eat like that, mm-hmm. like an animal. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, well, it's like you don't just enjoy the food. That's what it, it's like. You're like Costanza when he gets puts the you know the pastrami and the TV takes everything to bed. The food, the TV, and sex. You don't just enjoy the one thing. If you just, I think, if you were like, like from a place of consciousness, if you were in the moment enjoying the food, it would be slower and you would enjoy that process. Myself included. Maybe everything's in front of the TV, or I got headphones in, seems or very I got Europe, the computer. Seems going. very European when people eat like that. Oh yeah, when they eat real chill. Yeah. What are they talking about? I had nothing to say. I don't know. World domination? I don't yeah. know. It's crazy. Great question, though. Mm-hmm. This is from Luigi F. Baby. Ever been struck by lightning? <laughs> Do you know anybody that's been struck by lightning? <laughs> yeah, I have a friend who got struck by lightning twice. Do you believe that? What? Yeah, he's got to be lying about one what? of them. What? <laughs> yeah, I do. You believe both of them? Yeah. Well, I'm sure Straight there's... struck by lightning. I believe so, Not yes. like in a boat or my house. Because I knew a family, uh, friends of ours, their chimney got hit, got struck by lightning. Uh-huh. And like some bricks fell, but that was it. Sure. Not like, yeah. You would have thought it was War of the they World. Did, they didn't then. turn into powder. <laughs> 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 they weren't throwing spoons around the room. <laughs> yeah, no superpowers to speak of. What bozo friend of yours? Is there a, there's got to be a thing that if you've been struck once, you're probably more likely to get struck again because you're like ionized. That's no, exactly no correct. It, it no, is correct. Not. I'm sure. Yes, it is. People, get the fuck. That's a what's a one in a trillion chance. I know, but you're pro, you're you're electronically different than if you dude you get zapped by like sixty thousand volts up your ass. That's yeah, crazy. Turn you into a Panasonic. <laughs> yeah, if you fucking tune in Tokyo. <laughs> if you get an AM FM and HBO go. LED over here. Yeah, there's there is a thing where you're like phys- you're like chemically changed or whatever. You're like a door cell. I don't think so. I'm telling you, maybe not. T Bone should have had that right away though. If that Jesus. was the truth. Jesus. T Bone's been wrong a bunch too in the recent. Yeah, yeah. Turns the, out the UK is the for sure part of it. Oh man, up. dude, you got ruined on Patreon for that. God, I'm an idiot. Oh man, literally like everybody was. And you also said Central America was a continent. Hmm. Still a nice place to visit. <laughs> so apparently, no. Okay. Yeah, no shit. Damn. That's but this is pretty funny. It says, well, let's edit it this says, out. It says, no, but you won't get it. It's not, you're not more likely. But a bit, yes, because being hit by lightning often happens to people that have occupations that expose them to weather. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Imagine you get hit by lightning, deliver in the mail, and then you get hit again, dude. That's what is your bu- What does your buddy do? 
Uh, I, I Storm don't... Chaser. <laughs> Bill Paxton. <laughs> yeah. Dorothy. I don't even know. She. It happened to her. Like I think she was. It like, was a girl. Yeah. I I pictured some bozo for sure. Yeah. No, I think they were out in a field or something twice. I don't know, but they definitely got hit by lightning twice, which is fucking crazy. I, don't think I remember being in my stepdad's Ford Ranger in like a fucking horrible thunder. It was before he was my stepdad. He was just some dude at this point. <laughs> and I, dude, we were in like the worst storm of all time. And I was petrified. Were you driving? He was. Yeah. I mean, I was like six. I don't know if you were like sitting in a parking I, lot. I, no, I was in the back of, I was sitting on those fold out seats in the back. Remember those little like jump seats that were in the back of That folding? came from the sides? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, the Bernies were flying in that thing. <laughs> he might as well be in a fucking Chinook <laughs> oh, at that point. I remember. With fucking anti aircraft fire coming through. Yikes. Dude, it was. Those things suck. It, dude, I'm telling that was like one of the No scariest. one's ever lived in, in a crash. In well, one of those also things. in one of the. Oh, no. I probably didn't have, you have the seatbelt on. He had to like move like the fucking you know the toolbox to get the seat there. Oh, Empty God. coffee cups and shit. There's take a band saw and there's also the a thing too when you're that young you're like I just want like my mom or do you just want your parents. You know what I mean? They're like Superman in your eyes. Wait, why? What happened? You start freaking out? No, I'm just saying. Like I was just sitting in the back. I'm like, dude, this is this is like the plane's going down with this guy. I don't even know this fucking dude. He was picking me up from like hockey practice or something. Hey man, what's your last name again? Yeah. <laughs> you might crack in a window. <laughs> These Winstons are killing me. Never mind, I'll have one. <laughs> ah, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> That's a tough. We were petrified of lightning. The Foley's. That's what I'm up. saying, and it's from Ooh. that. He's like, "Now nah, you're good." The rubber, and I'll still use the like the rubber. Well, is yeah, the you, can't, you can't get you can't. You're get telling me a car can't get electrocuted? Nah, you're good. That's crazy. Nah, the rubber saves you. That's what they always said. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I'll, no, I don't think that's real. I think it is. There's too much metal to out. There's got a car has to be able to get a. a you no, know, it just goes through it. It's a, it conducts it, and it goes through. That's it. Probably where my hairline's going. He's right. Damn it. Foley knows his lightning, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have an obscure paranoia. Foley's got the facts. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually thinking that. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, Safest place to be is in a car or on a bicycle. I think you're pushing it there. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Or a long steel pole. <laughs> At the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> the, what's your call? the Freedom Tower gets struck with lightning all the time. Just goes right through it. It does. It has like a lightning rod. Did you have to do a book report on lightning recently or something? (laughs) What the fuck, dude? (laughs) It was invented by Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, discovered, not invented. (laughs) Whatever. You can't invent lightning. That's never been proven. (laughs) Dude, you're dropping lightning facts like you only have the L encyclopedia. <laughs> Let me tell you about Lauren Michaels. <laughs> uh, when you were a kid, did you ever do the science project where you powered something with the electricity from a potato? We did do something. The carrot ran through a potato or something. I made fries. <laughs> <laughs> Kimby's over there with a fucking big potato bar. Who wants chives? <laughs> We need more whiz, please. I'm in the weeds over here. We're supposed to, we're supposed to make a clock. This fat bastard built his own microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Teacher's got a thing of bacon bits in his hand. <laughs> there you go. That's how you went over to judges. <laughs> I didn't. I feel like I didn't make it through any of that stuff. What? I was supposed to make the planets one time. That was a fight at Michael's. Dude. That was a fucking Dude. war. You know how many times I've been screamed at, being like, I remember how to make like the Adam for like a. She wouldn't get me all nine uh, planets. I'm like, what do you want me to fucking do? I know. Dude, I've been, I've been get, I would get yelled at in Michael's going, you waited till the last oh, fucking yeah, second. You did. And Michael's. If I'm sure if I smelled that, if I walked into a Michael's and smelled a Michael's now, it would just take me back to getting screened at. <laughs> you got to stop procrastinating. You fucking eight years old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were psychos, weren't they? Well, God imagine, damn. dude, I'm so selfish. I don't even like doing things for me sometimes. Imagine what? They come home fucking from imagine a hard day. Imagine you did this. A... We don't even, I mean, like, we work all, you know, we work hard. But imagine if you, you came from a hard day of fucking podcasting in the content factory 
You get home and then some fat little kid goes, "Hey mom, I got a project doing a planets in the morning time." It's gonna cost you a hundred bucks in two hours tonight. <laughs> two, at least two. Yeah, because uh, I ain't doing the, it. Uh, this is all pre-internet, so you're like reading the. She got you got your mom reading the textbook or the encyclopedia or whatever. I remember my you can't mom just Google shit. My mom being so frustrated with me and like, uh, this is this might be a deep cut. Have you ever seen your mom erase something when she's angry, buddy? This. Do you know what I'm talking about? My dad. When she has the original. No, you're doing it. <laughs> she, 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 dude, it would be immaculate. Like, how, no. You can't even, a, there's not even a trace of lead in there. Yo, my. No. Do that. You're the spilling. smell of that, too. And clean, the, cleaning uh, of the cleaning of the dust. Man. There's a reason that, like, it comes up in, uh, it comes up in, like, all of my siblings' therapy sessions. My dad wants. My dad was a, you know, is a is a known wacko, and he used to, I guess, get caught in like a trance or what. Dude, he would put a hole in the paper, like out of like anger or whatever. He's like, what the? And then it if would, he was helping you with homework, yeah, it would go through to the table, and we'd be like, wacko, through to the table. Yeah, and we'd have to go to like Office Max and make like a photocopy of it or whatever. Oh, of, like the single sheet. Oh. I always had to have something underneath. I could never write on just oh. the table. Really? Like no. a placemat or something? Something. Yeah, I'd like to have a couple sheets of loose leaf. Gives it a little cushion for it's my right. you write with your fists like a gorilla. <laughs> it's yeah. bad. It ruined the finish on the table. I told you, I realized, I, I might have mentioned this before, but I real, I think my whole family, because they were all there to witness, like the day they realized, oh, he's dumb, like legit dumb, was uh, I was like late for some. For some... Man, you re- I was thinking this the other day, dude. You really are. <laughs> just dumb. I had this exact thought. Wait, because of this, what I'm about to say? No, no, just because I own a business with you. <laughs> I mean, fuck, fuck doing your fucking trigonometry homework. Try, try running a company. I was writing out some book report, like just copying something out of the encyclopedia, and my paragraph on the paper it kept it, it, it like would would go that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. by the by like by the end of the it page, two words there on. would only be two words in the sentence, and it would be completely slanted. And like I remember, like. My brother, my mom, or my dad coming in, and they were like, they were all looking at it like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. They knew that. They were just go outside and play in the mud. Something <laughs> this like that. Kids got lopsided eyes over <laughs> here. <laughs> go tend to the hogs or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, that's when they knew. They were like, Jesus. But now, why do you think I'm done? <laughs> what did I do? It's not now. It's not. Uh, it's not what you do. <laughs> Sounds like something my mom says. Yeah, but she knows you're dumb as well. We've dealt with you for a long time. Um, no, I was talking to my wife about something for the business. A lot of conversation about me with you, with you and this bird. I don't like it. I posted a picture the other day, and someone called her the bird. <laughs> someone goes, there's the bird. The bird's all right. The bird's a good name. The bird's is- <laughs> Where's the bird at? Broad's pretty good too, but birds are right. <laughs> she doesn't like broad only because I always say this dumb broad. Like it's dumb because when we're driving or whatever, kind of like I'll be bad guys. I'm dumb broad. Broad's pretty good. Broad's all right. Hey, um, you dumb broad. Kip, let's talk about movement. Movement, baby. Couple of college dropouts mm-hmm. got in the sunglass game, turned it on its head, came through swinging, came through swinging. We just, they just re-upped with us. I gotta, I gotta watch now. You gotta watch. They sent us me a cool pair of sunglasses. Mm-hmm. I have to watch from last time. I love it. Here's the thing. I'm gonna give you a little tip right now. Yeah. For all the bozos out there. Uh-huh. Valentine's Day's coming up. Around the corner. Score yourself some gear on movement. It will blow him or her away. Yeah. I'm telling you. If you're a guy or a girl, they got you covered, baby. Everybody. Movement is Valentine's Day favorite with timeless watches, uh, 18 carat fine jewelry pieces, and special edition styles like rare ceramic watches and bracelets my wife's got some your lady's got some it's mm-hmm. fantastic stress-free takes all the stress uh, and anxiety out of valentine's day by getting the perfect watch and accessory for your special someone Sh- uh shop 20 percent off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash garbage go to mv 
mvmt.com slash garbage for your most stress-free Valentine's Day gifting yet. MVMT, style shouldn't break the bank. Join the movement, baby. Do it. Yeah. Can't put talk about the good people at HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Big fans, the Foley family is. Yeah. As you know, we scored a little bit of that. Uh, my sister-in-law recommended we get that from my parents for Christmas. Home run. We got them a nice subscription. Yeah. Hooked them up. My mom loves it. Yeah. I tell you what, they do this one shrimp dish, it's shrimp over salad, almost Ooh. like a Cajun shrimp. Uh-huh. Knock your socks off. I do off. declare. Knock your socks off. It's on. fantastic. You get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered straight to your door. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Number one. It does make cooking fun. When you have everything laid out in front of you, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, they got everything. It cuts back on time spent in the kitchen so you can spend it on your other's resolutions. You have meals ready in around 30 minutes or less, plus quick, easy meals, including 20-minute meal recipes, low prep, easy cleanup, provide a faster route to putting the food on the table. Cut out the middleman. There you go. They even got dessert covered. Satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal limited time goodies like Dunkaroo cookie dough. What? What? Or vanilla delight cheesecake. Nice. I know you. Three cheesecake. I like a little cheesecake. Um, like you said, we're, we're big fans of it. They sent it to both of us. You got uh, you got Pat P Mayo on it. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage16 and use code Garbage16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. What are we what? doing? What? That's crazy. They're giving away the farm. Hold on a second. One more We're time. Not, are you crazy? We're giving that money away? What are you nuts? Yeah, HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage16. Use code Garbage16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Do That's it. crazy. Now back to the show. Yeah. Now we were talking about something. I just go, yeah, he can't. You can't wrap your head around certain things, and I just have to learn to not try to teach you. Just go, they're done. The job's done. I don't need to incorporate Give me an example of what I can't wrap my head around. Name one thing I can't wrap my head around. I mean, we were just going over the ads. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like you were was, saying everything this, confused. This was literally, I, what are we, like 43? This was literally 43 minutes ago. You were like, hold on, you're confusing me. Okay. Meanwhile, Toby's disassembling fucking Luminex cameras, and he's got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, hey, I admit it. I'm stupid. I don't know what that is. They knew from a young age. <laughs> yeah, they knew from a young age. I remember it was a rainy Sunday, and it was like they were they were all really mad at me because I had fucked up the Sunday because I didn't do this paper or something like that. And that's when I, they didn't even Who's yell at they me. all were? My mom, my dad, and my brother. Why was your brother mad? I don't know. Just kidding. <laughs> like it's a nice dog pile. <laughs> Fumble! <laughs> get in on the little, get on the little one eating his boogers. It's like Lord of the Flies over there. Oh, I'll tell you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he operates too. There's always a, there's always a good and bad team that you got to be on. No, he was mad because, dude. You know how annoying I was to him. I mean, he would like. Yeah, I, again, I can pick <laughs> up on it. <laughs> he would have like his, his grades were always good. He would do his own work. He used to go to bed. At like You're not like, Psst, what'd you get on number eight? He's like, we're not even the same grade, dude. Just copying the wrong. They don't know. They just want to hear something. <laughs> <laughs> they just need something. <laughs> it's a technicality. You just gotta show them something. Uh he would like, you know, he would like make sure he was in bed. He would eat right. He would, he would like exercise before. He was like, he, he was a grown man before he was when he was a kid. Sure. And then there was me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Old crooked report. <laughs> <laughs> old crooked report, Foley. <laughs> Fucking writing on paper sideways. Ah, uh, oh, it's good stuff. Ah, uh, man. Lightning. That's bullshit, though. Um, all right, this one's from TJ. Ever have to meet one of your grandma's boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I've never, you know, I get it, especially, you know, I, I never had to do that. Al. It would be some guy named Al. Yeah, how do you take that guy into the family? That's a tough one. He drives a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> he drives a Cadillac. His wife's dead. <laughs> He's great at pickleball. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing, too, I want to add to the list. If you play pickleball, you're trash. I don't even know what that it's, is. It's something all these old broads are doing. All my all my aunts and uncles are talking about it. It's like It's like tennis and racquetball for old people. It's like a big ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ping pong court, kind of. <laughs> I like that. And there's not a lot of moving around. It's Are you like, standing on top of the table? 
No, it's it's on the ground. Okay. But like the the, the things like not even the size of this office. Yeah. It's not even the size of the studio. Is it outside? It's inside or outside, and there's like a little net, and then you play like doubles. So like you don't, you're not like moving a whole bunch. Like I mean, my 67 year old aunt's playing yeah, it. Yeah, something you do that in Boca. <laughs> I don't think she's like not that. playing it with Federer, all right? <laughs> uh, Foley, picture the rackets you use on the beach. Those like solid like ones. Paddle ball. I hate that fucking. What was the point of that? To keep it up? It's a good game. Ah, 653. Try me. North nuts. Wildwood record. Come see the fucking kid. <laughs> Where's this Hall of Fame down there in Wildwood? Dude, I love a pure homie stat. Oh, yeah. I've been throwing that around for about a decade. What? 600? I retired after that. 600 back and forth? 653. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Who counted? <laughs> I'll relive the glory days. We talk about your football enough. Dude, that shit is the best. I'm bringing my paddle and hanging it on the wall. Five blocks, no hands on the handlebars. That's another big one. Made it all the way from Sam's to Wild Wheels Pier. <laughs> it was the dead of winter. <laughs> Streets were wide open. And I was all over them. <laughs> you do that on Memorial Day, you're going you're, you're gonna to end up on a hood of a car getting T-boned. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> you really pulled the fucking, uh, you really pulled the heat break. I was thinking about being dumb. <laughs> well, sounds about right. This one's not going to hit Foley, but it should hit T-Bone. Uh, uh, this is from Jack. Ever do DDP yoga? <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page was a wrestler and started this like dirt bag yoga. It's that's a that's that that's a that's a good one. I, I knew know who Diamond right. Dallas Page is. Yeah, so he did DDP yoga. The now I feel cover. dumb. You look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Forrest Gump. All right, right now. pull out of Foleyville. We're really descending in. <laughs> There we go. And we're back. Um, all right, let's see here. This is from Danny Dick Salad. <laughs> Haven't had one read. That's a good piece of business. <laughs> Haven't had one read yet. What are some garbage times guests took the term <clears throat> make yourself at home too literal? Here? No. In your life. Mm. I have one that made me think of it. We were in like junior high. And we had this, we, we had a group of friends over to watch the NCAA championship game. It was always on like a Sunday or Monday night or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this kid got invited through like someone else. And he was like, he was like the bad kid. Now, where is this at your mother's? This is at my, yeah, this is at the Pieces house. How old are you? Four to 13. So it's a Super Bowl? No, NCAA championship. Sorry, go ahead. Man, he is in his head. <laughs> he he's recording three different podcasts right now. <laughs> it's not lightning out, is it? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and he got invited. He was like the bad kid. Like I would, I didn't like associating with this kid so much. Bad kid, like he got in trouble, or bad kid because there was bad kids that got in trouble a lot, and then there was bad kids that you thought were gonna hurt you. He was both. He was the guy who was like fighting kids' dads and stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he was like fighting men at this point. Yeah. And, like, was working construction at, like, 13, you know, just, like, <laughs> he was staying at his brother's sister's house. He was staying somewhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sick party. I'm going to take a shower and tattoo myself. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he fell asleep on the couch. He had his 18-wheeler license at 14. <laughs> CDL. CDL. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. He was the kid where he's like, let's go smoke. And I'm like, yeah, we, this isn't just like an open smoking household. Like, we got to, you know. He was one of the kids like, well, I'm going to smoke. I'll deal with the repercussion. I was like, all right, you're really making this fucking. Just goes out in your back porch. Just out smoking. on the back deck cranking Bernie's. What the and I'm say? trying to play it cool. She's right. You sent her to bed. I said, hey, listen, <laughs> fucking hit the bricks, will you? All right. This is like the double deuce down here now. <laughs> <laughs> Boot knife. <laughs> this kid played by his own rules. And he was, you know, counting. He had like pills. He was like counting pills in his pocket or like loose pills. It's never a good sign. Not vitamins. No, they didn't, they didn't look like Barney Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could think of. But he fell asleep on the couch. Oh, Jesus. And everybody left. And I was doing like, ah, hey, you know, because I didn't want to wake this kid up and end up in a fucking chokehold. <laughs> this kid will fucking hem me up too sweet. 
<laughs> falls asleep on the couch, like sitting there. He lay. He laid down. He put his legs up on the couch. Uh, shoes? No, I think shoes were off, and passed out. And now I'm like, uh, you know, this is all my friends. Have, he was like a friend of a friend. I don't even know this dude really. And what day of the week is it? It's this? like a Sunday night. It's every. It's a school night, dude. <laughs> I still got potatoes to cut. <laughs> I still got prep work on the potato boy. Got busy work to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what'd you do? Holy shit! I was trying to like, ah, hey, ha, ha, ho, big game, you know, like hooting and hollering to wake him up. And then he kind of finally woke up around 11.30 or so. <laughs> My mom was coming. Dude, that's the middle of the night when you're 14. Oh, I know, What man. the fuck? 11. My mom was coming down. I was like, is he sleeping here? I'm like, get out of here. He's going to beat you up. Get out of here. He's going to steal the jewelry. Yeah, play dead. Do something. <laughs> he get up and leave or did he spend the night? No, he got up and left. But I'm like, who's coming to get it was like getting picked up by his sister's boyfriend or it was like it was yeah, it was a um it was a thing. My sister's my sister's boyfriend's coming to get me. Yeah. <coughs> well right. that happened a lot you in felt our bad for those kids. That happened a lot in our area because we had a we went to a really good school district. So like uh people would do anything they could like I got you know, you. like, hey, go live with your cousin. Go live with the whoever. Change yeah, yeah, the yeah. address. So there was a, not the and like you know certain sections weren't. Uh, they were a little not dice, not crime, but you. like just you. you know wonky setups. Yeah, you don't want to end up in some bozo school district. Yeah, so it was like, hey, you know, go stay at your sister's house or whatever. Right. Somebody was asking. Uh, I, I forgot. I forgot to mention. I was hanging out with them at Skankfest. Does anybody ever die on vacation? <laughs> Which I thought was a great That's secret. a pretty good one. That's pretty good. Um, this one's great. This is from Paul. Ever cancel one subscription to a podcast Patreon to reallocate those funds and level up at level up at another? Sorry, Schultzy, we're Garbaggio now. Yikes. <laughs> Take that. Huh? Yikes. Fuck you, Schultzy. Cut that. What? <laughs> I love you, Schultzy. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm Team Schultzy. We were hanging the other night. Schultz makes me whack you. <laughs> Listen, I'd, it's got to be I, done. I would do it too, Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> the bald guy's got to go. <sighs> would you kill me? If Schul- if we were if we were like proper Peaky Blinders gangsters. You and- can't. We're together. We then, you can't. It's me and you. We've painted this story where if we're Peaky Blinders proper fucking gangsters. My enemies are your enemies. Your enemies are my enemies. Right. On the surface. <laughs> Until the heroin gets involved. Um, no, if if Schultz was like the main bad guy and he was like, you got to go. I mean, there would obviously be some plans for me in the organization. Oh, you fucking. But he's probably just going to whack me as soon as I get done killing you. That's why. Then he's got T-Bone whack me. T-Bone's the. Nah, he'd get whacked too. That's what, yeah. It's all part Alex, of his master plan. Alex Media would whack him or Gagnon. <laughs> fucking whack T-Bone. No, that's what you do. You make them. Oh my God! Have you never? You're you, you've never watched a movie or anything. You make them think like you're playing ball. Say he's gonna fix my teeth. Meanwhile, me and you <laughs> are playing in the ba- planning in the background. So then we go kill him. Now we're king. Ugh. yeah, we got a fake Kippy's death, dude. Yes, it's in Ooh, Pinky Blinders. Fake Kippy's death, and then you come in at the I end. I come in and I take him out in the end. Ah, and take his Patreon money. Yikes. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Schultzie. Then what to do with Akash? Then he's on a vengeful tear. No. He's coming for us. He'll play ball. You think? I, I, go back with, I go back with Akash. Really? Yeah, we go back. Sweet. We'll see. I don't know. Nice. All right. When are we doing this? <laughs> uh, never. 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 And no, of course, I would never whack you. I don't, I don't know. You. Schultz is pretty convincing, though. And you are dumb enough. If he came <laughs> to me and, and said you did something or whatever, and it's got to be, I could see him talking in his Schultzy way, real low. And... You're crazy. This is making me what? Yeah. He told me to t- turn my phone sideways. Next thing I know, I'm stabbing <laughs> Kippy. Hey, do me a favor. Kill Kippy. <laughs> He's Schultzy. Schultzy says push a button on the guy. You push the button. Oh, oh, we're gonna talk about. I'd this. be conflicted. We're gonna talk about, about this it. in hard feelings right after this. I'd be conflicted about it. Okay. 
Well, whatever. You know, it is what it is. And make sure you have an open casket. Unless I miss. Whoops. <laughs> I shoot you six times. God, ah, damn. God damn it, Paul. <laughs> All right. Now, of course. Um, Don't be here with me now. This is from Benjamin. First time, long time. Uh, I come from a big family. The family car was an old yellow short school bus. 16 passenger. We named it the cheese log. We would take it out. We would take out the sleep seats and have sleepovers in there. It was our garbage version of a treehouse. We used to get dropped off in school with it. It was a tough look. Imagine getting dropped off at school on your own school bus. That's bad. In the backyard. Well, how else are you going to get those goddamn kids everywhere, too? How many kids? He said big family. I don't know. I eight. mean, yeah, eight. You don't need a school bus. Eight kids? You know, That's 10. Sp- That's 10 people with the parents in. What car puts holds 10 people? You get like a Suburban or something. That, uh, suburban doesn't hold 10 people. Well, get a regular van then, man. Not a fucking school bus. Yeah, which lane do you pull in? You can't pull in with the Civics. You got to go with the buses. Yeah, at school, you got to go in the bus lane. <laughs> <So>. Tony! <laughs> <laughs> a little kid's getting on. I think I left my lunchbox in here. <laughs> oh, get out of here, kid. Now, this is a private vehicle. I do want to say this. It's private property. You're trespassing. Other than the wasps and the bees in the summer, which they had to be brutal, if you had that parked in your backyard in some bushes, that's an eyesore I, for anybody. Well, if nobody could see it, and you turn, I'm I mean, saying, who some, are you, Gary Busey? I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> from Black Sheep. <laughs> How would I go to your grand, your grandmother's house, and start a small fire in her panties? I'm you saying in a bus. I'm saying from a kid's perspective, it would be pretty cool to have one of those in the back. Sure. If you took all the seats out and you did the sleepovers and it was your, in your, your tree fort, I get it. But everything else, I mean, that's just, those are just parents just doing what they got to do. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm sure if they had the money to buy two Escalades and tie one, you know, tow the other one it's behind it, they would that do it. Dad, did that dad ever think that he was going to be driving a school bus? No, at some point that guy was probably cool. Yeah. And now he's driving a fucking cheese log. Yeah. <laughs> to school and not getting paid for it. <laughs> at least pick up well, some- All the other bus drivers make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a tough look. Here comes Gary in his personal fucking school bus. Uh, yeah, it's a tough look. Tough, tough, tough. Yikes. This one is my go-to. This is from uh, Maggie. Shout out to Maggie. Uh, I like that they're doing this now. FTLT. First time, long time. Love it. <laughs> these Patreon, these these homies got a lingo of their own. First time, long time. Never have one read. You ever use a wet paper towel instead of a vacuum? That's my go-to. A wet paper towel. Yeah, I did it this morning. Instead of a vacuum. Uh huh. No. Or sweeping or so. For what? Like on like hard water, the tile floor or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did it today. Like I, I what I typically do is I like dry my hands with paper towel, and then that's like kind of moist, but still good. I got to get another. Then you I throw it on the s- floor and use your foot. Yeah, or not my. I mean, I bend down. I can bend down, so I'll bend down and like wipe. Get the. Like what's under, if it's like under the stove or, you know, if I see some crumbs or some dust or whatever. Sure, of course. Yeah. Get I twice. do that with the turlet. What? With the turlet. Don't say that ever again. The turlet? Uh-uh. The toilet? Yeah. The commode? The turlet. Um, we have those butt wipes. And if I dribble while I'm peeing, I just drop a couple of those and use my foot and <laughs> clean it up and then throw it in the thing. Sure. I gotcha. Yeah. It's a little different because your calls in the mess. True. Do you ever just use your sock? To do what? Wipe up the pee. Oh, yeah. If it's not that bad, one little pass with the sock. I, I did that yesterday. Also, the... Um, the On the toilet seat. There was a, there was a dribble or two. I just... <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> then walked around the rest of the house. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, there's dirtier things in that house. I use the bath mat. I slide the bath mat, the bath mat over it. Just hold it, hold it there for a second. It was it's a over. bacteria trip. Oh, That's man. Jesus Christ. You're going to have to turn that thing over to the feds. I got busted peeing in the shower yesterday, too. Because my move is sometimes I'm like really tired. Well, were you in the shower? No, I was not. Oh, my God. No, I was not. That's you. Come on. I think she's been tracking me because she, 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 she knows my movements. She goes in, you're hanging upside down from your leg in a rope. <laughs> Caught you like a, <laughs> caught you like a wild animal. <laughs> Peanut butter in my mouth. Um, I go in and I turn the faucet on, mm-hmm. and then knock open the shower curtain. Wait, that's a you you can't 
quietly open a shower because tough. The, eh, you hear it. Dead giveaway. Uh huh. She's like, "What are you doing? Get out of here! Yeah, <laughs> paying the bills." I right, just take the hose and the shower head and. That's very down. very unsanitary. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Just every once in a while. Plus your toothbrush is in there. Ah. I think it's one thing if you're in there and you're peeing. Because the water's flowing, it's cooking that whole time. You know. True. You're I do a pretty. Even... We do a pretty good job of cleaning the bathroom, though. I will say that. She does. Yeah. Well, it sounds like there's pee everywhere. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do something. That's why I keep her on her toes. Um. All right. Uh, all right. This is from Master Rashi. First time, long time. Do you cut your fingernails into an old piece of mail so that you don't have to use a napkin? An old piece of mail. Yeah. Like I, I respect that. Yeah, like I guess the open envelope or so you'd like oh, yeah. do it and you could just tr- throw it. I'm a big notes on the envelope, too. Oh, yeah. Right down. The on whole mastermind for this plan was drafted on a fucking old parking ticket. Really? Yeah. Everything's Finally on the Finally had enough with the city, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on the back of mail because I don't open my mail. No. Ever. I don't know what's going on with Knock that. Knock it off. I, it's like, you know, I feel like Kramer and that. Just, get, stop. My cable company Email, just. Email, everything, auto pay, the bank. What, what are we doing? Yeah, it's crazy. Fucking kick rocks, mailman. It's crazy. Although we have mailmen that listen to this. I get that, but not for me. Let me opt out. Oh, yeah, if there was no mail, what would all the mailmen do? There will always be mail, but I just saying I don't want it. I just leave it until, I, until my the fucking woman gets so mad at me. Because it's full. She's cramming stuff in there. Oh, that's all it is. is credit card offers and fucking mm-hmm. con ed bills. Yeah. What are you doing? I got con- everything's on auto pay. I, I'm finally to the point in my life where I think everything is on auto pay. Nah, I'm not there yet. I mean, I'm still. That's scary. I'm still walking a tightrope. I don't like that. I'm aware. I don't like auto pay. I'll get it when I get it. I'll take care of it. Sure. I make sure. I take one day now and I pay all that stuff. Pay all the bills. Do all the bills. Sunday, just like your mother. Um, all right, haven't had one read yet. Is it garbage that the majority of your Tupperware is the ones that are prepackaged sandwich meat that the prepackaged sandwich meat comes in? I know it's the Ludwig. Yeah, there's Lud- a couple. Ludwig or Budwig is this is the company. Yeah, I mean there's a couple. Like Oscar Meyer has it. They all have Hillshire it. Farms is pretty nice. Hillshire Farms. If that's what you're using for your Tupperware, I feel like that deli meat Why smell. D- no, 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 no. You're wrong. Because the deli meat is it's it's, it's double a, packed. I know, but then you take that off and then put the lid on. Unless you eat the whole package at one time, that's absorbing those chromosomes. No, nah, that's through osmosis. I think that's good. It's good for the planet. It's good recycle. It's no, good. You're move. a dirt Solid bag. Move. Go buy some fucking. T- it's it's like a dollar at IKEA for decent Tupperware. You know it'll handle that smell. A little baking soda. A little baking soda. Dude. IKEA. Yeah. Who the fuck's buying their Tupperware at IKEA? I mean, you're not going to IKEA for Tupperware. I'm not saying get it. I'm just saying. We have it from Ikea because we were in Ikea. They have a huge fucking housewares thing. Have you been to an Ikea recently? Yeah, I have. <laughs> okay, I got I married in an Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you want to fight over this. <laughs> they got everything. Do they? Yeah. I don't trust them over there. I don't. I'll stop in Ever for since a they meat- put a horse in her meatballs. I'll stop, I'll stop in for a meatball or two, but that, it's something about that place. I'm, I'm a target man. I like a target. F- Ikea. They're never close. They're always they're not. They're always up by the airport. They're or the always stadium. down by the water or something like that. I know. It's like, can't you build a little one? And they don't deliver either. Crazy. They're oh, bad. I got a the delivery thing. Sweet. I got a delivery thing. We got to get into on hard feelings. It's bananas. Okay. I almost bought a guy. Really? Not really. <laughs> I would have got my ass kicked. There was two of them. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do one more thing. We got to wrap her up. Um, let's see here. This one, I, Matthew, um, do you let your dog sit on your lap when you drive? Which I feel is... I wish they would. Tra- you wish they would what? I, wish, I would love to have that relationship with my doggie, but we don't have that kind of relationship. She wouldn't sit on my it's lap. It's also a fucking golden retriever. You could have a golden retriever on... You, can't, you couldn't go steering wheel golden retriever your stomach. There's no way that's going to work. <laughs> You'd have to be like a like a seventy five LTD. Yeah, you'd have to have your CDL. 
But it'd be nice. I'm always jealous of that. I don't like that. It's like, just drive. Let the dog sit in the car. That's too much. That's like... It's dangerous. I that's what I'm saying. That. It's like, hey, this I'm so important. I want to have my dog here. Have your dog can have the back, the trunk, the side, the roof. I don't care. Yeah, my mom puts him puts her in the back seat, which she has a little seatbelt that she puts on. The that's back. pretty classy. You know what else, was, what else was classy as a kid that we never had? Like, you would put the dog in the trunk and then have the gate. I feel like people who drove like Subarus had those. Remember, like, oh yeah, said, the dog gate. So he couldn't jump into the back seat, which I was like, "That's great. He's got his own little place back there." Yeah, it, in the in it the, turned the it turned yes, like the yes, trunk yes, of yeah, a yeah, jeep, yeah. like a yeah. into like a whole. I think fucking it like house. a cop car, like it had a divider between the no. <laughs> the back seat. You turn the, the air on back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Ah, uh, gang, we love you. Make sure you check out the spesh. Check out the spesh. Get it's some on the tickies. YouTube right now. Get some tickies to the shows. We're coming. We're coming everywhere. So don't worry. We love you. Uh, which one am I looking at here? I never know what you're doing. You, you, you giving me this one? He finds you. Let the camera find you. That's right. I try to go I try to go off you. You do. Well, a couple of times I'm looking over here like a bozo, and I got this camera. I feel like I'm doing the local news here. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace.